nature versus nurture. People still think in terms of whether the principal determinants are genetic or whether the principal determinants are environmental as if that categorical either or was simply sacrosanct. Physicists, not stupid people, took a generation to be able to let go of the idea of is it a wave or is it a particle? Which is it? It's got to be one or the other. The history of uh, research on um, what was originally called the Kluver-Busey syndrome, uh, the effects of bilateral temporal extirpations on behavior in monkeys. What was observed in the laboratory when the animals were maintained in individual cages without contact with other animals was tameness and a number of other signs. Later on, when similar experiments were done with animals in different environments, animals living in a colony with other animals, mm -hmm. uh, the observed effects were not tameness, they were changes in dominance hierarchy. Mm -hmm. And the animals often exhibited exaggerated aggressiveness. Mm -hmm. The important point to me about this is that the position we take on these questions have social implications. They determine what will, we will think makes sense to do about certain problems. I went to a demonstration, a very famous anti-war demonstration at the Pentagon, at which I met my friend and former colleague, Charlie Gross. And he thrusts into my hand something that he copied from a journal. He said, have you seen this? Subsequent to encountering Charlie, I lost him, and I was arrested. I spent the night in jail. The next day, coming home on the, the plane, I reach into my pocket, and I pull out this piece of paper. And it's a page from uh, an issue, a current issue of the, American the Journal of the American Medical Association. And in it, there is an article on brain disease and urban riots, 1967 and uh, one of the years of the series of long, hot summers, rioting in Detroit and Newark and everywhere else, death and destruction and so on. In this article, three guys from Harvard, MGH, raise the question of whether there isn't something peculiar about the urban residents who engage in violence as opposed to those who don't. These guys were doing, uh, had a big clinic at MGH, and they were experimenting on humans doing bilateral stereotaxic amygdalotomies. Bilateral both sides, stereotaxic with electrodes, burning out this structure deep in the temporal lobes, and were reporting successful outcomes. I began to look very closely at these cases, particularly after 1973, when one of the cases ended up as a court case. 